Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be upgrading one of my legendary gems and talking through my plans for my gems for the rest of the year. Let's go. So the gem we're going to be upgrading today is my Bottled Hope. Now if you saw my Rift Run video you'll know that I found a 5 star one recently. So we're going to be upgrading my 4 star to a 5 quality and rank 6 as well. We're 64% of the way there on the progressive upgrade and I managed to get another copy of Bottled Hope in the market for quite cheap this morning. So we're going to be using both of these towards the update. So firstly I need to make sure they're both unlocked because I have a habit of using gems by mistake. And another thing I'm going to be doing is actually removing one of my gem resonance gems from the two star gems just so that I can use this for gem power as I'm quite lacking on gem power from recent other upgrades as well. So part of the reason I'm removing it is because a lot of the time these gem resonance gems they don't really give you that much um, of an addition to your resonance. You can see it's only plus 10 resonance so I'm not really losing much on that at all and I generally equip them and upgrade them in my gem resonance table so that I can remove them for upgrade material. Um, yeah, it gives extra buffs. Some of the buffs are great, some of them are not so amazing, um, but it just makes it a lot easier when you're doing these big upgrades. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the bottled hope and we're going to use some of the gem power from this hunger and then for the remaining upgrade I'm going to have to use the chip of stone flesh as well, which is four star quality. So it's kind of frustration that I'm going to have to use that but then at the same time it's not a gem that I will ever use in my build so it kind of makes sense to be using that alongside some of these one and two star gems I've been collecting. Now some of these gems you'll notice that I'm going to avoid using and I'll explain why in a little bit um, but for now we're going to go ahead and select all of these gems to use for the gem power and I'm going to have to use chip of stone flesh as well because there's not quite enough gem power from my one and two star gems which is what I thought would be the case. Now, I'm either going to end up with a load of um, bound gem power, so we're going to just make sure we remove a couple there. So you can see now the gem power is exactly spot on to where it should be. And these are the gems that are going to be consumed. So I'm going to have 600 resonance from 522, and it's going to be five star quality as well. So that is a huge boost in my resonance, and also just nice upgrade there with the buffs and enhancements that you get from upgrading it. So that now puts me with um, three five star gems equipped and they are all, I think 600 resonance now as well. So yeah, we've got Blood Soaked Jade and that's, uh, you can see I've been working on my progressive upgrade there. Starfire Shard, which increases by 600. Roiling Consequence is only three out of five. Then we've got Pain Class Vipers Bite. We've got the Bottled Hope that we've just done, Gloom Cask and Mother's Lament as well. So those are all the gems that I've been using. I pretty much use these in PvP and PvE as well. And Gloom Cask and Roiling are two that I want to work on next. So looking now into my plans for Legendary Gems for the rest of the year, there's obviously been rumours recently that we may get an additional gem slot at some point, so I've been keeping my options open for this. I'm considering using Grim Rhythm. This one, it increases your attack speed, so for Wizard this is quite a handy gem to have. However, you do only gain this gem from Battle Pass and Boon of Plenty, so it will be a really slow burner to actually upgrade that one similar to Fervent Fang, which is just super annoying and I gave up with that gem. Alternatively, I'd go back to Seeping Vile. Um, so this one is a four out of five star quality. I basically equipped Roiling instead of Seeping Vile when I tested both of them recently. Um, however, this would give me another damage over time effect back. And I do have a partial progressive upgrade on that as well. So potentially I'd be looking at upgrading that to rank six if I did use this gem. And the rank six would increase the damage to 45% as well. So I do have options for that if we do get the additional gem slot in game i'm not going to hold my breath on it we'll just wait and see what happens my other plans as well the first one is blood soaked jade let's look at it here instead so blood soaked jade you can see i've got 72 percent upgrade progress on this so far um, and obviously starfire shard i'm not really i've not really got any plans for that but blood soaked jade especially any telluric pearls i've been using to craft new copies of blood soaked jade and my other plans are for Roiling and Gloom Cask. So both of these I would like a minimum of a four star quality. So that is pretty much it from me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.